It's that time again. Welcome to the Rock of Ages Ministry Television Program, an international evangelistic ministry reaching souls around the world for Jesus, a ministry with signs and wonders, healing and deliverance, with your host, a Latter-day Apostle, a man with God's vision for today, one who's reaching out to the lost at any cost around the world for Jesus, Apostle Ronnie Bailey. Apostle Bailey is a man of God, operating in the gifts of the Spirit, healing miracles, and with the prophetic anointing of born his life. He has been called out by God to break down strongholds, break victory over drug and alcohol addicted people, and poverty, generational curses, and all other spiritual bondages to bring God's holy restoration to souls around the world. If you need prayer counseling, please avail yourself to our prayer counseling hotline numbers. They are 337-706-7262. That's 337-706-7262 or 504-613-7234. That's 504-613-7234. We have committed counsels, prayer counselors standing by right now to assist you around the clock at your prayer counseling needs. Or if you would like to write this ministry, you may do so by writing Rock of Ages Ministries, 201 South College Road, Lafayette, Louisiana, 70503. And remember to send all your prayer requests. Our email address is ronnie at ronniebailey.com and our website can be accessed anytime at www.ronniebailey.com. You may also watch our telecast on our brand new webcast channel at www.vo.com forward slash channels forward slash rock of ages tv and enjoy our telecast anytime 24 hours a day seven days a week at your convenience now why don't you take a moment and call a friend and let them know that the rock of ages ministries television program is now on the air Lord, praise the Lord. Welcome. Yeah. Welcome. Come on, we can do better yeah. than that. Yeah. We're in a Woo! brand new year. <laughs> a brand right. new year. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And the, and the devil is just, uh, I, I think he's having nightmares. Mm. Amen. Amen. Whenever we can get this many prophets and prophetesses in the house, you know he's going to run and hide because he's nothing but a big coward. That's Can right. you say amen to that? Amen. amen. Hallelujah. I guess you don't hear that too often, huh, on TV. <laughs> yes, we need to call it like it is. Call it like it is. Thank yes, you, sir. Lord Jesus. Amen. And uh, today uh, we're going to be talking about uh, what is God's plan for our lives in 20 and 19. Amen. Uh, I tell you, if you are at the sound of my voice right now, you made it in. Amen. amen? amen. Hallelujah. Right. You made it into 20 and 19. And it's going to be a great year of the Lord. But uh, we know that in life, there are some ups and some downs. Yeah. So we don't mean it's just going to be peaches and cream. Amen? Because you know yeah. the government has shut down. Mm -hmm. Amen? So you, you, you know we're in 2019 for me to be able to say that, right? The government has shut down. Uh, there are people that that uh, are, are used of uh, assistance, that may lose that assistance. Uh, there are a lot of chaos in the world, a lot of things that our dear brother Martin Luther King Jr. put in place, and we have seen it trying to be uh, separated. You know, he brought in integration, and they're trying uh, to bring back in segregation. And so we're going to leave that alone for right now. Uh, as a matter of fact, you are watching Rock of Ages Media Ministries television program. And today, once again, we're going to talk about what is God's plan for your life in 2019, just after station identification. You are watching Rock of Ages Media Ministries International. As a ministry, we are here to help you in regards to biblical counseling and prayer. 
So please don't hesitate to call or write in regards to any counseling needs or prayer requests that you may have. Our prayer, counseling, and information hotline numbers are 337-706-7262 or 504-613-7234. Or feel free to write us at Rock of Ages Ministries International, 201 South College Road, Suite 214, Lafayette, Louisiana, 70503. Our email address is rockofagesmens at ll.com. Our website is www.ronniebailey.com. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Yes, glory. Hallelujah. And let me introduce myself. I am uh, Apostle Ronnie Bailey, and uh, I am the uh, Chief Overseer of Rock of Ages Media Ministries International. <clears throat> Amen. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> I, I did pause for an applause, but I, 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 it just was a natural pause there. But the reason we are international is because this telecast is going around the world. Now, that's something we need to clap about. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. It's going around the world. Yeah. Hallelujah. Across the globe. And we're bringing good news. You know, that was the very thing that Jesus said before he left. He said, go. Hallelujah. He said that before he left. Yeah. Well, when he come back, what do you think he's going to ask you? Did you go? Mm -hmm. Did you go where? Did you go? Uh, he says, go into all the world and preach the gospel, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe everything that Jesus said. Amen? Amen. And what are the things that Jesus said? He said was in this Bible. He said the Word of God because he is the Word of God. Is that right? Yes. yes. In the beginning was the Word, the Word was with God, the Word was God. And the word became flesh, dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory of that of the only begotten of the Father. And his name is what? Jesus. Jesus. He is the word. So we're going to tell you what his words say. And let me just go to a scripture. As you know, we're talking about, for those of you that are just tuning in, what is God's plan for your lives in 2019? Amen? Hallelujah. And this scripture that I'm going to uh, speak just before we hear from our first anointed guest is found in Deuteronomy, the eighth chapter, and the third verse. You may turn to it if you have your Bibles. If not, listen attentively because this scripture tells you why you need to listen attentively. Amen. And he humbled thee and suffered thee to hunger. Amen. You're not watching this telecast by happenstance. <laughs> Hallelujah. You're hungry for something. You're hungry for the truth. Hallelujah. And, and, and this Holy Spirit has quickened you. Amen. To turn the channel to this channel. And uh, he hungered, uh, hallelujah, thee, and led thee, hallelujah, and fed thee, rather, yeah. with manna, which thou knewest not. Yes. You know, God is always going to do a new thing. Yes. So he's always going to give you something new, mm -hmm. something that you didn't know mm -hmm. before. Amen? Hallelujah. So he hungered thee because he wanted to give him something, manna from heaven, spiritual food from heaven, which they knew not. Neither did their fathers know that he might make thee know that man doth not live by bread only, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of the Lord doth man live. Yes. Can you say praise the Lord? Praise, praise the, the Lord. Lord. 
You remember when God bred into Adam's nostril, amen. amen, his spirit, he became a living soul. See, men live by the spirit of God. Hallelujah. Without, when God would draw that bread, man no longer exists. So therefore, man lived by the word, the word of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You want to know, as I call on our anointed guests, what's going to help you make it through 2019 and even further till Jesus return is the word of God. You need to eat. You need, oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. And we're getting ready to announce our first guest, a woman after God's own heart. Hallelujah, glory to God. God is doing so many great things with prophetess Linda Augustine that is too many to mention. But I'm going to call her up at this time, and let's just give her a hand clap Amen. as she comes to the platform. Hallelujah. Yes. Glory, glory. Come on, we can do better than that. Hallelujah. Mighty woman of God. Glory to God. Amen. Praise God. I'm just so happy and blessed to be here um, to share the word of God. We're speaking about the word of God. In this time, in, the, in this, this season that is upon us, God wants us to remember to keep our focus upon him. Because we're hearing and we're seeing so many things right now that's causing us to be troubled. Yes, it's causing us to, right. to be moved. Mm -hmm. And 2 Timothy 3 and 1 says that in the last days, in these last days, perilous times are going to come. Mm -hmm. These difficult times are going to come. But God says when we see these things, we are to remember the word of God. And mm -hmm. see, in these, in these times, in these last days, it's the word of God that's going to sustain us. It's the word that God wants us to, to get into his word even right. more than, than right. when we have been. Some of us Say have been now. neglecting the word of God, but God says that it's important to remember where our true food comes from, the word of God. This is a time when, when where we are to begin to speak the word of God over our situation, and God wants us to begin to rest in him, rest in the word of God, because we, we're, we're suffering right now because we don't have the rest of God. We see things that were once stable right now, they're, they're becoming unstable. Mm -hmm. In Luke 4 and 4 and 1, 4 and 4, it says that man doesn't live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of Say God. That because now. the word is quick and is powerful and it's sharper than a two-edged sword. Yeah. The word of God in these times, that's this is what is going to keep us. See, God wants to give his people peace because right now the world is shaken and and we as christians must not be shaken along with the, the world because we know the power of god we know in whom we have believed we know who jesus is where everything has been shaken but the thing that is not going to be shaken is the word of god because it, it is forever settled it's stable and it's fixed and it's not going anywhere he says that we need this supernatural peace because mm. it, it, it's hard for us some of us to, to, to really receive the peace because of what we see that's going on around us. Amen. See, our peace cannot be de determined by what the world is giving us and by the world that we're living in. He says that I am thy shalom. Remember that I am thy peace. I am the God that gives you peace. Mm -hmm. I am the God that's going to give you yes, rest yes, when yes. everything else is crumbling around you. Remember, shalom. <laughs> I am thy God. I am thy peace. Then he says, God says in these days, he says, I'm giving my people strength. He says that, that my people have been disappointed. He says that, that you've been beaten down. He says some of you have been shaken because of, the, of those things that you're going through and be, be, because you've gone through these things, you, you, you lose Losing your strength. He says, but I, I, I'm giving you your new strength. He says, where your joy mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. has been taken. Yes. He says, I'm restoring you. Hallelujah. Restoration. He says, I'm, I'm giving you restoration. Then he says, I'm giving you grace. More grace. More grace that you're going to need to run this race. Mm -hmm. But you're going to have to ask 
access this grace by faith. Faith in knowing that I am the God that promised you and I am the God that's, that's going to fulfill those things that I have told you that was going to occur. God says, I, I'm restoring you where you were once weak. He says, don't put your trust in yourself. Put your trust in mm -hmm. me because I, I, I'm strengthening yes, you Lord. to run this race. I'm strengthening you to go on and to finish those things that you need to finish. I'm giving you more grace and more favor. And remember to put all of our trust in God because God says that I am the one that's going to see you through what I've called you to do. Yes, in yes, Jesus' Lord. name, be blessed. Amen. Yes, yes. Let's give the Lord a hand Amen. clap for that. Amen. Hallelujah. It should be a harder your hand Amen. clap than the, yeah. to, to welcome her. Hallelujah. After a powerful word like that. Yeah. My God, my God. I tell you, Brother Jeff, that's a tough act to follow. Can you give us a response to that? What is God's plan for our lives in 20 and 19? Introduce yourself, if you would, before oh. you answer that. My name is Brother Jeff Chaz. Yes. And um, what I have to say is for this year, 2019, mm -hmm. I believe my slogan is going to be each one, save one. My God. At least, at least one. Right. Now, in, uh, I want to go to Luke. powerful slogan. Then. Luke chapter 4. Mm -hmm. Verse one really grabbed me because I, I never really paid attention to the very first verse all that strong. But it says, and Jesus being full of the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, what scripture is that? Uh, Luke chapter four, verse one. All right. Jesus. Just hold it right there. Yeah. Uh, my director said we have a couple of minutes. We're going to have a prayer. Oh, yes. And when we come back, you continue from where you left right. off, okay? Amen. Father, uh, uh, those of you that don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, I want you to repeat this prayer with me. Say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus I know that I am a sinner. I know that I am a sinner. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. Wash me in your blood. Wash me in your blood. Come into my heart. Come into my heart. And be Lord of my life. And be Lord of my life. I receive you now. I receive you now. I know that I'm saved. I know that I'm saved. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. See, I guess after that powerful word from the prophetess, we, we can't go any further without prayer. Yes. Amen. Amen. But I'm I'm thankful that uh, Minister Jeff got a chance to at least uh, begin to do the, the, the preparation for his message. But uh, now that you're saved, you need to find a full gospel, Holy Ghost-filled church to attend. Also, you need to get your Bible. Because man, as we just read, the man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. And also, you need to establish a prayer life. Yes, it's not about a religion, but it's about a relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. And when we come back, we're going to tell you more about that as uh, Brother Jeff Chaz will finish his message. Don't touch that dial. Don't touch it at all.
love recovery. Hallelujah. God's property. That's the Acadiana Outreach Center's Choir. Yeah. Amen. Lafayette, Louisiana. Hallelujah. And uh, come on, let's give them another big hand. Yes. Hallelujah. And uh, of course, we're talking about what is God's plan for your lives in 20 and 19. Amen. Glory to God. We know one plan is for uh, to not just live by bread alone, right? Yeah. But by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. And uh, what was that scripture you had, uh, Pastor, uh, Minister Jeff Chas? Well, I, I was just going to say for, for 2019, I would say I would have a slogan. Oh, that slogan, that's right. Each one, save one. That's right. All right. Now, 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 could I answer? Yes, sir. And each one that is saved also save one. Yes. Right? Yeah. That one person that gets saved could go on, might be that one minister who leads a whole nation to Christ. That's right. Well, hundreds of thousands of people. I have read stories. Yeah. Now, um, I was starting at Luke uh, chapter 4, verse 1, and I really like seeing this because it says and Jesus being full of the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. returned from Jordan and was led by the Spirit into the wilderness yes now 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 keeping that point led by the Spirit into the wilderness mm -hmm. I want to go to somebody else who was led out by the Spirit into the wilderness in Acts Chapter 8, and we all know this story, Acts, yes. Acts chapter 8, between uh, uh, verses um, 26 and 40, but, but basically uh, um, Philip was preaching the gospel in Samaria, mm -hmm. and the spirit of the... Uh, the angel of the Lord spake unto Philip, saying, Arise, go toward the south unto the way that goeth down from Jerusalem unto Gaza, which is desert. That's mm -hmm. desert. That's like wilderness. It's dead. It's nothing there. Mm -hmm. It yeah. says it's desert. It's plain and simple. That's and, right. I've been there. And, Amen. Praise the Lord. Yes. There's a, actually, there's people that live out there, uh -huh. and I forgot what they call them, but they still live in tents. Amen. And, uh, and they try to follow the water. See, when the water dries up in one spot, they pick up everything, their families and everything, wow. and they move to another spot where they may have water. Mm -hmm. And even though Jerusalem is, you know, modern day where they could live in the city if they wanted to, but they choose to live this way. And they still do today. Amazing. Excuse me. Go no, ahead. no, no, thank you. Um, and so F F Philip left Samaria because he heard the angel of the Lord told him, go down mm -hmm. the road, go south, the way that goes down from Jerusalem unto Gaza, which is desert. And he arose and went, and he ran into this um, Ethiopian eunuch yes. who worked for Candace. And back in those days, if a man had a real prominent position where he had to be around an important woman, well, he was made a eunuch. Mm -hmm. That was just, just the custom. Mm -hmm. And uh, and anyway, this man, the eunuch, was sitting up in the chariot reading from Isaiah, and uh, he was at the scripture where it said, uh, he was led as a sheep to the slaughter, and like a lamb dumb before his shear, so he opened not his mouth. Yeah. Say that. And and the angel and the spirit of the Lord said, go to that man. Go, go up to him in that chariot. And Philip went up and said, do you, I'm just going to paraphrase, do you know what you're reading about? Mm -hmm. And he said, well, I don't know if he's reading about himself or a prophet or what. He said, but the, he said, I wish I knew. And Philip jumped up there and starting from that scripture, starting from that spot, he, he opened up the story of Jesus to him. Mm -hmm. he, he, he preached the gospel mm -hmm. of Jesus. Mm -hmm. And, and the man said, oh, I want to be baptized. Is it possible? <laughs> he, Didn't he, have a lot of water out there, though. Philip said, well, <laughs> if you believe with all your heart yeah. that Jesus is the Son of God, he said, we can, we can baptize you right now. 
Mm -hmm. So he went down, he took him in the water. Found He's, some water. He said, look, 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 there's some water. <laughs> some water in the desert. <laughs> Miracle water. Yeah. Right on time. Yeah. Just like he, so he took him down, mm -hmm. baptized him, and as soon as he baptized him, he was taken out in the spirit to mm -hmm. a town called Azotus. Azotus. Mm -hmm. Philip was taken away. Mm -hmm. But 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 what I'm getting to is mm -hmm. um, um, one man, that Ethiopian eunuch, God had Philip travel all that way, go through all that trouble for one, mm -hmm. which takes me to just this one thing, mm -hmm. Luke 15, 7. Luke chapter 15, 7. I say unto you, that likewise joy shall be in heaven over one Three. sinner, Three. one that repenteth more than over 99 just persons which need no repentance. That's so right. he went all that way. Jesus had to go into the wilderness and to be tempted of the devil. And Philip had to go in, out into the wilderness to save that Ethiopian eunuch. The one, though, that yes, one was worth saving. That's right, that's right. That yeah. one person was worth yes. all that trouble. Yes, well, praise the Lord. Amen. That, that's wonderful. Amen. Amen. Uh, Dr. Paul and I had an experience uh, over the phone with that one person. Oh. And uh, I ministered, to, I was talking to Dr. Paul real briefly, and he was being fed the, the word. Amen. And then he said, uh, whoever you're talking to, I want that lady to pray for me. Mm. And she prayed. Amen. The Holy Spirit just overwhelmed. He was crying. He was weeping. Even when he got off the phone, I had to pray to let him go because he didn't want to want to let me go. <laughs> I said, I'll pray again. But anyway, we have five minutes, so that means y'all have about four minutes, at least you do, uh, Pastor Jerry uh, and uh, Apostle Jerry. And would you tell us, amen, uh, what is God's plan for your life in 2019? But I want to give the Lord an applause for that powerful word from Brother Jeff Chess. Come on. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Well deserved. Well deserved. I thank and praise God once again that the Lord has blessed us once again to be uh, in his presence in the studio here mm -hmm. uh, on this new year. Praise Amen. the Lord. Amen. The Lord has blessed us with. Yes, that's right. Amen. And you want to tell folks that. In this new year, we need Just to follow treasure, the light, the light of the treasure kingdom. God yes. more yes. than anything. Yes, that's right. Keep God on your mind. Keep God in your heart. Yeah, there you I go. remember an old song that said that I woke up this morning with my mind stayed on Jesus. That's right. And I want to read this scripture here, and I'm going to yeah. on a, in the forty second chapter of Isaiah, and I'm going to begin here. Uh, at the sixth verse. Amen. And it says, I, the Lord, has called thee in righteousness and will uphold thine hand mm -hmm. and will keep thee and give thee for a covenant of the people for the light of God, for, for a light of the Gentiles, excuse mm -hmm. me, to open the blind eyes, yes. to bring out the prisoners from the prison. And them that sat in darkness out of the prison's house. The eighth verse says, I am the Lord, that is my name, and my glory will I not give to another, Amen. neither my praise to graven images. Behold, ninth verse, our key verse here, behold, the former things are come to pass, and a new thing I declare. Before they spring forward, I tell you them. So that lets us know one thing, since this new thing is coming and springing forward, is to let the world know that we have no time to fool around. That's right. No time to slack up, no time to uh, 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 back, back, I mean, uh, uh, back up, but we need to go forward in the Lord. Amen. Mm -hmm. But he's coming forward with a new, a brand, a new anointing upon his people. 
And then with that anointing, we have to be full of the anointing to preach God's word. We don't have no time to fool around with graven images. That's or, right. Or, 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 or worshiping your, your your possessions or your, your, your you know material things, but keep your mind and steadfast on God and his son. For Jesus said, I have come unto the world that the world might be saved. Amen. I didn't come to destroy the world, but I come that the world might be saved. saved. Praise God. And when, and he had called us. He put us out there. And he had given us his anointing. He had given us his, his word. And what we need to do, amen, is proclaim that word with all our heart, mind, mm -hmm. and soul to let the world know we get that Jesus is soon to come back and we don't have no time to play around. That's right. Amen. We got to give this word out to the Lord and we got to give this word out to somebody. I heard my brother over here say that one save one, one save save one. Praise God. Yeah. And that's what we need to do. Mm -hmm. Amen. It, it's enough gospel out here for everybody that's to right. share Amen. the word of that's God. Right. Amen. Yeah. To, to bring this word oh, yes. of God far. Amen. Oh, yeah. the, the, the Lord has said that mm. Jesus is not coming back until this word has been preached to every creature. Yes. Amen. That means everyone around the world. We got TVs. We got radios. Yep. We got uh, uh, the cell phones. We got everything now to get God's word out. Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> Don't worry about what Trump is doing or what your president is doing, but worry about what you need to do for God. That's right. Amen. That's right. And That's go right. forward with God and That's do right. what the thing that you need to do That's because right. God, has called, God has called us. He said, I have chosen you. You didn't choose me, but I chose you to yeah. go and to teach and to preach this word to every creature that that comes that that lives mm -hmm. in this world, Amen. And, yes. and I'm so excited about it that God is willing to trust me with this word to mm -hmm. go forward <clears throat> with this word to proclaim yeah. it to help save somebody else, Amen. It's not a selfish thing. I'm not. It's not selfish what God wants to do because He wished that all would come to repentance and be saved. That's right. God That's bless right. you today, right. Amen. And put your hands. In God's hand. God bless you today. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Let's give the Lord a hand clap for that. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Powerful, powerful. If you don't know Jesus, would you repeat this prayer with me? Say, Lord Jesus, Lord I know Jesus. I'm a sinner. I'm a sinner. Come into my heart. my heart. Be Lord of my life. Lord, I receive you now. I know that I'm saved. That right, I'm now, right now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Glory I tell you, if one come to Jesus, all heaven is rejoicing. Amen. Don't Amen. touch that dial. Enjoy this important message. When we come back, we're going to come back with an important closing note. To visit Rock of Ages Ministries on the web, just type into your web browser www.ronniebailey.com. You may click on links such as Missions, TV Schedule, Sermon of the Month, Contact Us, National, International, and Slideshow Galleries, just to name a few. Please add your contact information so that we can add your name to our mailing list. We would like to have the opportunity of following up with you in the future. For our international visitors, just click on your country's flag symbol located on our home page. This will change our entire website to the language of your choice. It's just that easy. Also, don't forget to sign our guest book. You may also insert your picture and comments if you choose as well. If you need prayer or counseling, please complete the information form below. One of our prayer counselors will respond as soon as we receive your request. We are committed to assisting you with your most earnest needs.
picture gallery is also available to help acquaint you better with our ministry and the various events conducted throughout the year. You may also click on our slideshow gallery and enjoy continuous slide-by-slide, -slide, local, national, and international on our special large screen view. Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. glory. Hallelujah. So I want you to know that you can reach us by uh, typing in www.ronniebailey.com. 24-7. Seven days a week, 365 days a year, except in leap year. Mm -hmm. How many in leap year, uh, Prophet Lennon? Can they reach us? Huh? 364. 366. 66, excuse yeah. me. Thank you. Please 366, if it's leap year, the rest of the time, 365, 365 days. Mm -hmm. Hey, man, well, you can tell we like to have fun. So don't touch that dial, and the reason I put Prophet Lennon on the spot is because he's next. And we want to hear from the prophet himself concerning what is God's plan for our life in 2019. You have about four minutes. All right. Uh, well, hello, everybody. Welcome. And, you know, this year, let's call it out, is the year of the prophet. Mm-hmm. Now, why am I saying that it's the year of the prophet? Let me give you a couple of scriptures here. You can here. bring it a little closer to you if you like. Okay, I got close. it, yes. Uh -huh. Let me give you a couple of scriptures here. And let's start off with Ezekiel 3 and 17. All right. He says, Son of man, I have made you a watchman for the house of Israel. Therefore, hear my word. Hear a word from my mouth and give them warning from me. Mm. All right. Give them warning from me. When I say to the wicked, you shall surely die and you give them no warning, nor speak to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life. That same wicked man shall die in his iniquity. But wait, don't stop there. But his blood I will require at your hand. That's what he says. His blood will I require at your hand. Yes. And he goes on to say, if you warn the wicked and he does not turn from his wickedness, nor from his wicked way, he shall die in his iniquity, but you have delivered your soul. Yes. Now that's a part of why this is the year of the prophet. Yes. And as we go through this season of warning people, mm -hmm. getting their mind ready for this season, yes. when we get to next year, 2020, we're going into the vision. We're going into an area where as we as a people will not perish. We will be flowing. So he's giving us an opportunity mm -hmm. for such a time as, as this, this to get it together. And so as we're <clears throat> getting it together right now, get ready, get ready. Because what we shout about, we mm -hmm. shout about, we got the blessing. That's right. Yeah. So we're prepared for this time because this is the year of the prophet. But look, I'm not done yet. Let me give you two more scriptures. Isaiah 42 and 9. Behold, the former things have come to pass. Think about that. The former things have come to pass, and new things I declare before they spring forth. I tell the prophet of them. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right? Yeah. Now, w when I say this about getting ready for the prophet, the prophets have a word, but this is your job, to audit the word that they bring. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you hearing me? Mm -hmm. Audit the word. Listen. Mm -hmm. And when you hear that word and you hear the strategy and what the Lord has given, you make sure that you hear it and prepare yourself for this season that we're stepping into. But let me give you one more scripture. Amos chapter 3 and verse 7. Surely the Lord does nothing unless he reveals his secret to his servants, mm -hmm. the prophets. That's right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Mm -hmm. This is the year of the prophet. Blessings to you. Amen. Amen. Let's give the Lord Amen. a hand clap for that. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And I know you, I told you we were going to have a closing note. Amen. But 
don't, you know, hold on to your seats. We have two more anointed guests. You know, just like the, the Saints game, you know, how it went into OT, overtime, and sudden debt. Well, we're about to have sudden debt on the program. So this is not the close. When we come back, we're going to hear from our final guest of the evening. Don't touch that dial. You are watching Rock of Ages Media Ministries International. As a ministry, we are here to help you in regards to biblical counseling and prayer. So please don't hesitate to call or write in regards to any counseling needs or prayer requests that you may have. Our prayer, counseling, and information hotline numbers are 337-706-7262 or 504-613-7234. Or feel free to write us at Rock of Ages Ministries International, 201 South College Road, Suite 214, Lafayette, Louisiana, 70503. Our email address is rockofagesmens at ll.com. Our website is www.ronniebailey.com. Welcome back. Amen. Hallelujah. And we're going to rush right on over to the woman of God because we only have, we're in these really, we're in overtime right now. You're overtime, you OT, and she's sudden, sudden death because she got to get hers in before the Amen. close of this program or, or the people are going to be in trouble. Take so time. would you uh, introduce yourself and take it away? Praise the Lord. I'm Apostle Ada M. Vinette. I'm delighted to be here. And I just want to encourage the people out there, those that may not know the Lord, the question is asked, what is God's plan for 2019? Mm -hmm. And I pondered, I said, okay, Lord, what would you have me to say? So the Lord wants me to encourage and not just encourage, but warn the leaders because the leaders are responsible for the souls of the people. Amen. Amen. Uh, Matthew, the 25th chapter, uh, verses 14 to 30, it says immediately after dis distributing the talents, the master, mm. talking about Jesus, went on a journey and expected his servants to fulfill their duties as they had been instructed. But only two servants work to produce double for their master. The third servant buried his talent, mm -hmm. claiming that his master was a hard man. Verse 24. This wicked and slowful servant received a harsh rebuke and was left with nothing, while the others were praised and received their reward. Likewise, the Spirit of God within us tells us exactly how to use what we receive from Jesus. Mm -hmm. Gifts, talents, times, opportunities, time to speak about him and his plan for salvation and to do his work. Yes, In order Lord. to please our Lord and Savior, unfortunately, uh, many leaders don't follow the plan. They mm -hmm. want to be mm -hmm. served rather than serve, to serve. Mm -hmm. So here's a revelation from the Lord Jesus to those who truly desire to be honored by God. And the word of God in John 12, chapter, verse 26 says, If anyone serves me, he must follow me. That's right. Where I am, there will my servant also be. Mm -hmm. If anyone serve me, the Father will honor him. Well. And in closing, it says, Though the order of Jesus' statement may sound strange that a person should first follow him and then serve him, Understand that it's possible to serve in the work of God without ever following the teachings of the master. Those who do his will, those who do this will not receive anything from God. Only those with righteousness, mercy, and faith as their main 
or character or qualities will enjoy glory in heaven and with the most high. These are not servants in mere appearance, title, or sporadic births, but a constancy in their sure. lives. Sure. Amen? Mm -hmm. True servants are resolved to do the will of their Lord permanently, even if it means denying themselves. Matthew 16, 24, hating their own lives. Luke 14, 26, or losing it to find it. Mm -hmm. Matthew 10 and 30. This requires constant humility, love, trust, and patience. May the Spirit of God use his servants even more, and may he awaken the same faith in others. Mm -hmm. We are examples that we have to all set for the people. There are many out there hungry for the word, looking for a place, looking for a, a, a deliverance, don't know which way to turn. Some are ready to give up on themselves, mm -hmm. but it's up to the leaders of God. Amen. Yes. Those that really know God, that have his spirit, and you don't know him if you haven't been born again. You must be born again. I can't lead you where I don't go, and I certainly can't teach you what I don't know. Amen. Give God a hand clap of praise. praise Amen. This is a word for the leaders. Come on. Y'all can do better than that. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Glory yeah. to God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. That's right. Amen. So in these uh, closing minutes, Dr. Paul, yes, how many uh, minutes? we have just a half a minute left. No. I don't know how long we have left, so. <laughs> but if we should have at least about three to four minutes left. Would you uh, give us that final word for this telecast? It looks as though that we're going to have to have a part two on this. Oh, yeah. So, amen. Well, we're going to yeah. have to have a part two. But uh, would you just take it away? Let yeah. us know, after introducing yourself, let us know what is God's plan for our lives in 20 and 19. Y'all get your papers and pens ready. Go right ahead. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Dr. Apostle uh, Bailey, and to all of my fellow ministers, amen, to you there, amen. Well, God placed this on our hearts to add to. I've learned so much from what uh, my coworkers have said, amen, to God be the glory. Now, uh, this might be a little bit different, but it's tied in with your destiny. And I'm gonna read the notes. God is preparing you during this last day the last year of the decade, okay? The number nine, remember that, amen. And I'm gonna go back to the Hebrew mm -hmm. and know that you see that nine and there's a word called tet. All right, now the number nine, as we study, uh, can mean deception and victory. Now God has a plan for your life in 2019, amen. amen. And you may be confronted with sometimes with deception, amen, and all oh. the warriors <laughs> uh, and you too and we too. I have been uh, confronted by the enemy trying Lord, to deceive us. But well. dearly beloved, you are king or priest unto God. You're wonderfully made, amen. And God has a plan for your life. Now, how are you gonna find that plan? Well, the main thing is to read the word of God, amen. hallelujah. Yes, yes. And to wait upon him, hallelujah, in prayer, amen. Yes. And to let your words be shaped, amen. Yes. You're to lay aside all the extra baggage we yes, that yes. we have in our mouths, amen, in our hearts, and, I, and be careful about what we listen to. Do not get so engrossed that we'll miss God speaking to us and we'll miss his plan. Now look, God gave us a plan. He has a plan for your life before you were born, amen. amen. And uh, I've, I've spoken the prophetic uh, plan for my life that the Lord gave my mother some time ago and I won't go over that, but each of you, uh, when you before you came from your mother's womb to birth. Now dearly beloved, 2019 is a time if you would reflect Amen. And think about, hey, uh, there were some mistakes. I, I missed it. Maybe mm -hmm. instead of taking 11 or 10 years, it took me 40 years mm -hmm. to go around that mountain, which the mountain really, uh, uh, I could have spoken to the mountain if I had just learned how to listen oh. to God and obey yeah. him. Yeah. Praise yeah. God. Amen. Now, dearly yeah. beloved, you've got a dream, you have a vision, and God speaks to his prophets in dreams and visions, or his prophetesses. Yes, that's right. Amen. And he's still doing that now. And that thing that's birthing out of you, you have another year before you go into 2020, the last uh, decade. Amen. I want to call your attention. I want you to remember to read the story of Saul and the story of David. And you know, Saul was set to be in prophecy side and told he was going to be the king. But Saul was in fear many times. The fear about this, not only about David, but hallelujah. But as time rolled on, he lost the crown. Mm -hmm. So he lost the vision, amen, that God had given him by yeah. disobedience and fear. So don't worry, don't fear. Another thing, uh, don't let your 2019 be uh, decapitated by 
uh, the word worry. Draw a line wow. through worry. Refuse to receive that. Amen. Yeah. And you know, as David went on, he encountered many obstacles. Yes. Many obstacles. And you know the story. Yeah. If you don't, just go on and read Saul and David and so forth. Yeah. But David had opportunities to kill the king. But yeah. David knew that God didn't want him to do that. So he right. ran on and, mm -hmm. and, and all of that. And we read in the book of Psalms where he said, I remember you, God. I remember what you did before. Hallelujah. I know that you are God. And then, too, with your 2019, mm -hmm. after you haven't done all that and prepared to have faith by the reading of his God. Hallelujah. In this, in this time, by, uh, after you've thought about it and you have it in your heart, know that God is going to perform his word. Amen. Right. But Amen. end it with praise unto God. Hallelujah. Yeah. You may be sick yeah. in your body. You may yeah. be sick in your mind or yes, whatever Lord. it is. You might not have yes. enough money. But if you believe and go by the principles yes. and the word of God, you shall not fail. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Trust in the Lord. Hallelujah. Trust in the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Well, that's just uh, something that I want to share. God Amen. bless you and keep you is my prayer for you. Thank God. Yes, Amen. Amen. trust in the Lord and he shall give you the desires of your heart. And we want to take out a moment to uh, acknowledge uh, a memorial of our one of our guests that was with us on our last telecast, and that is the late uh, James Jasmine Sr. He's not with us today, but let's just do a worship as we're going off the air in honor and in memory of him. Hallelujah. Because he would have he would have probably been the last one. <laughs> Hallelujah. Shall bow with uplifted hands unto heaven. Hallelujah. And they're going to be worshiping all over the world as they watch this as we go into our closing. Thank you. From myself, Apostle Ronnie Bailey, my lovely wife, Takako Bailey, and all of the guests, all of us, of Rock of Ages Media Ministries International. May God bless you. This is our prayer. Hallelujah. He has risen. Jesus has risen from the dead. And he alone. Every shall bow every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is I just got a vision Pastor Jasmine is smiling down on us right now hallelujah glory to God thank you Lord Jesus the Lord say blessed is the servant that when I return, I find doing my work. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, Pastor James Jasmine Sr. have made it. And we are on our way. Hallelujah. He has been a great example to us. And his lovely wife, Elder Gladys Jasmine, a prophetess in her own right. Hallelujah. And Spring Hill Missionary Baptist Church. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. God bless you, Dr. Paul. God oh, bless you. God. Would y'all just extend a hand of fellowship? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 for tuning in today and on behalf of apostle ronnie bailey and all of our guests here at rock of ages ministries we hope that you will take these truths expressed on today's telecast and pass it on to others along your life's journey we also pray that you join with us in taking this message around the world for jesus remember we can't be god giving no matter how hard we try for the more we give unto him, the more he'll give back into us. 
Now, if you need prayer or counseling, please avail yourselves to our prayer and counseling hotline numbers. They are 337-706-7262 or 504-613-7234. If you would like to write us, please send all correspondences to Rock of Ages Ministries, 201 South College Road. Lafayette, Louisiana, 70503. And remember to add your prayer request. Our email address is ronnie at ronniebailey.com. And our website can be accessed anytime at ronniebailey.com. You may also watch our telecast on our brand new webcast channel at www.veoh.com slash channels slash Rock of Ages TV and enjoy our telecast anytime, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week at your convenience. Once again, we thank you for tuning in today. We trust that you have been blessed. Now, until next time, about this same scheduled time, may God bless you. This is my prayer.